It was really disappointing to be so close to the podium at Rio but just miss out. It was the culmination of years and years of, of work and to come so close and just miss out was, it was upsetting. But on the other hand, it was my first Olympic Games, individual sixth and team fourth was pretty good. So I was also really proud of that, even though a little disappointed to come so close to a medal. They say horses are great levellers. I went from sort of the highest of highs going and competing at the Olympic Games for the first time and absolutely loving that to my very next competition back in New Zealand. I had quite a bad accident and ended up breaking my shoulder and my leg and being out of action for three or four months. So I have had nine months away from competition and eventing. I've still been training and riding and competing and some show jumping and things, but I just was really burnt out. I needed a little bit of time out from eventing and it's the best thing I could possibly have done, to be honest, because I've come back after that time off just really motivated and energized and just super excited for the next 12 months leading up to Tokyo. I guess to be super cliche, now that I'm back on the horse, I'm uh, <laughs> feeling very driven, very motivated, and very focused towards Tokyo 2020. If I make the team, I would be going there with more confidence than I went last time because I would have known what to expect a little more, uh, know that I'm able to be really competitive. The margins at the top are just so small and absolutely every single little thing counts. So it's crucial that you don't leave any stone unturned.